Hello, welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom, and today we got this T-bone steak here. It's almost a porterhouse, but maybe not quite. But anyway, it's T-bone steak here, and it's froze, of course. <laughs> and so, we're going to put this Ninja Foodie over here, and in about 15-20 minutes we're going to put it on a plate, if that long. So we're going to do this a little bit different than we've done them before, so let's give it a try and see how it turns out. Alright, now first thing we'll do is take a teaspoon of this uh, better than bouillon. Actually, it's going to be a heaping teaspoon because it's cold to start with. It's been in the fridge. And then we'll put it in this uh, cup and a half of water here. Okay, it ought to be about right for a cup and a half of water. I'm just going to let it dissolve up. No. Oh, by the way, the water is... Uh, right at boil. I don't know if this is all the way boiling, but it's close to boiling temperature here. That's a cup and a half of water. And it won't come off, so I have to get it to where it comes off. But it's like I always say, once you put it down in that uh, cook row here, it won't take long. If it's, not th if it's not dissolved, it won't take it long to dissolve in that water. Okay, I'll keep on stirring and I'll be back. Okay, now I've got this pretty much dissolved here now. Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice. Okay, now, next time we'll do is pour it down in this Ninja Foodie Deluxe over here. Dissolved up pretty good, none left in the cup. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take this rack here, this reversible rack that comes with this Ninja Fitted Deluxe. This is, a hand, this is the most handy rack I've ever seen for one of these pressure cookers. Because you can just do it about any way you want to, you know, and you can set it up like that if you want it up high, or you can do it like that for down low. But anyway, we're going to put it down here like this and put that steak on top of it. So let me put, get it over here. Okay, I'm going to set that right down in there like that. I'm going to set this nice looking T-bone in here up, right there on top of it. And then we're going to get out our pressure lid. Line up your arrows here on the front, you know. Turn it clockwise till it stops and locks into place like that. You come down here, you turn on the power. And you take your selector knob here and you turn it over here to pressure. All right, set on 10 minutes. Set on high to start with high pressure. That's fine, but we don't want that 10 minutes. So you come over here and you hit the time button. And it starts flashing. We'll turn it counterclockwise. One minute. That's all we're going to do it. Because we're going to do something else with it in a minute. After this, after this minute, so we're going to do something else with it. Then we're going to hit the start button. Make sure you turn your valve over to seal. Make sure you turn the valve here to seal and not vent. You know, make sure it's turned to seal. Because if you leave it over here on vent, it'll sit here a long time before you realize there's nothing happening. You know, except some steam coming up back there. So. We'll be back in a couple of minutes while it gets ready to pop up. I'll tell you how long it took. Okay, now it's been eight minutes since I hit that start button. And it's puffing and huffing over here and it's spitting and it's sputtering a little bit. And I think it's fixing to come up pretty quick. It's not going to be much longer before it pops up. Okay, and there it comes. Now it took about uh, nine, nine and a half minutes for that button to pop up. Now, as you know, We'll take these little lights, go chase each other around a little bit longer until, until it uh, starts cooking. I don't know. You would think when the button had come up, it would start just counting down to two minutes, but I mean to one minute, but it don't. You know, it has to wait until these, these guys have to get tired of it chasing each other first, and then it starts counting down. But it shouldn't take long. 
Hey, while you got a chance, if you can, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. And we're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. So all you folks that's watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel so we can hit that 10,000. Okay, now hit the, hit the uh, stop chasing the lights and it uh, got me confused talking about 10,000 there. That's a, lot, that's a lot of subscribers. And I surely appreciate all you YouTubers for uh, subscribing to our channel and letting us get that 10,000. I think it'll come in the next couple of days. So anyway, we got 36 seconds to go and then we'll go uh, take the pressure off this thing pretty quick because we got some other stuff to do to it. Okay, now we're down to three, two seconds left on this thing and now it's done. And we're not going to waste any time with it because we got, like I said, we got some other stuff to do to it. So we won't go ahead and get started on it. So I'm just going to go back here and hit this, uh, let's see a little bit better than that. Hit this, uh, valve and turn it to vent. And it starts letting the pressure off that. And so we'll be back when it's finished. <laughs> Okay, so the pin just dropped and it took a minute and 42 seconds for it to drop like that. So now we'll just turn off the power on the Ninja Foodie Deluxe here and let me move back over here so you can see what I'm fixing to do. Alright, now next thing we're going to do is let me get it around here so I can handle it better. Lift up the lid, turn it away from your face, whatever you do. Alright, now. See if we can get this thing out of here. Okay, you see that? That don't look very appetizing at all, does it? <laughs> so, but we're not done with it yet. We're gonna we're gonna do something else to it in a minute. Okay, now empty this pot out because I wanted all the liquid out of it. Now this pot's still hot, so you be very careful with it because it'll burn you if you're not careful. Okay, but I emptied the pot out and I wiped it out with a paper towel. And now to get this meat ready over here. Okay, now I'm going to put a little salt on it. A little pepper. Now I got some of this Lowry's sweet smoky seasoning here. Southwest. It says salt free. So let me see if I can get the shaker side open here. Hmm. That looks pretty good like that. And then just for the heck of it, and we'll put a little bit of this uh, complete seasoning on it. Now, if you don't like any of these spices, you know, you can always use something else that you like better. I'm just going to add in like that. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. So, when I get that done, I'll be back. Okay, now I've got my squeeze parquet out here, and I'm going to put just a little bit on the side, on the upside of it. It doesn't do any good to put this on both sides, because you know, it just wouldn't. <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm going to take this and put it right back in here on this rack. Okay, now I'm going to set it right back down in here like that. Now I could get two of those down in there if I wanted to. But being there's nobody here but me and this is my lunch, I don't see any reason to put two of them down in there. So, Okay, the next thing we'll do is shut the lid and turn the power back on. Alright, now we're going to take our selector knob here and turn over here to brawl. And it's going to be at 450 degrees since 10 minutes. Now you've got to pay attention. When you put it on roll, you better be paying attention to it. I hit start. Because we're going to let it go for about 4 or 5 minutes and we're going to take a look at it. Because if you're not careful on that roll, it'll roll it right on into cinders. 
so we'll be back in a minute. Okay, now just past the five minute mark, let's look and see what the temperature of it is. Okay, it's 120, so it's got a ways to go, but it looks good. It looks good, good. Look down here. See, that's, that's looking like a decent steak right there now. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, now it's just down under three minutes now. Let's take one more temperature reading out here. See what we got. Oh, that's 140, 142. I don't think I want that cook in there anymore. Because, you know, medium rare is 145. And so, just the carryover on this will, uh, put it, it's still cooking as it's sitting there. And that's going to bring it back on back up to the 145. So that's going to be enough of that. So let's get it out and see if we can get it cut and see what it actually is like. Don't forget this pot is hot. Look at that. Now that, you got to admit now that looks pretty good for a frozen steak 15 minutes ago. You know, so. But we'll see when we cut it. Now like I said, this looks real good to to be fro frozen hard as a rock. And see exactly how long ago it was for. About, about 20 minutes, 20 some minutes ago. Or le it was less than 20 minutes. This bone, can't cut the bone. I want to tell you right now, that's so juicy. That's the thing about pressure cooking it like that. The only bad part about <clears throat> putting it in a pressure cooker like that now you lose most of your pinkness, you know, so when it comes out, it's, it's, it's like this, but it's still only got that 145 degree temperature on it, you know, so I don't know how to say exactly what I want to say, but even though it's not pink, it's still that medium rare. So let's see how it is. Now that is really good, and I'm going to tell you right now, it <clears throat> If you like your stuff a little, just a little bit spicy, you need to try some of that Southwest uh, Sweet and Smoky seasoning here from Lowry's. That's that's really good right there. That's the, how it used it once or twice before, and it's really good. Along with this, with all of it, the combination of it just makes it, you know, just makes it a great little T-bone. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I hope you come back and see me real soon. Don't forget to wash your hands and stay away from everybody. Watch all the YouTube videos. Watch mine first and then everybody else's. And until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day. And come back and see me real soon. And thanks again for watching our videos and subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. We sure do appreciate it. Goodbye now.